Yeah. Who's that? It's your brother. Sounds like Doug. It is Doug. Oh God, take forever. Ian would like us to go out and do this uh, review of these uh, panels now. He's uh, pointing at his watch. I'll give you a call back. Cool. Yeah, if you're gonna grab you. Yep. You can go grab Ed and then we'll chit chat for a few minutes. Some help from ski. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Kelly, give us a rundown. What are we looking at? Alright, so we put the new magnets in there, right? Woohoo! What is this? This. Lines. Do like, these kind lines of, mean of, anything like in particular? They're just lines. Right. So Doug wanted uh, some mock-ups of the metal plugs. Brushed brass. Brushed and well, I, I did a sample down here of aluminum, I guess we were using yeah, for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was aluminum. I got a little overzealous when I asked them to buy the magnets, and uh, they're a little <laughs> strong. It is cool that we've got like... Yeah, you can lift one. that up, obviously. It's not gonna... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the, what did Jason use? I can't remember. These, the magnets are, I don't know what they're. So inside, under this plug here, there's a magnet, but it's loose. It's so the magnet loose. is free to pivot so that. You can actually hear it if you take one out and shake it. So as you move these around, they'll orient themselves correctly. Jesus. <laughs> uh. I didn't, right. really, I didn't really, I like, really like the rattle. No. Yeah, so if you look here, there's only like a sixteenth of an inch of wood on the outside of that mortise there. So that's not much material at all. So yeah, with these things yeah. banging together on each other, I wouldn't be shocked if we cracked this yeah. or ran into some other issues. All right, all in all, so now this is the faux panel. What's the insert? I don't know, I still don't love it. Do you love it? There's something underwhelming about it, and I'm not 100% sure. I really like the different color frame with the different color center. I am kind of excited to see the laminated panels that you're working on, because I think that'll give it a little bit of interest that is yeah. lacking right now. Go over there, back up. Look how quick, it actually does look a lot better than it did. The raised panels do give it like, the shadowing. Some architecture, you get shadow lines. Could line that with an LED strip. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, 100%, 100%. The more LEDs, the better. Uh, Big one. Mm -hmm. GM screen. Part four. We're going to table the solid wood versus frame and panel debate. Yep. We're going to be deep diving the Cristaldi hinge. Ba -bow. Who wants to be impressed? Anybody? I want to be impressed. Is it impressive? Uh, yeah, yeah. You've seen yeah. these. I'll, I'll, Did it? I will gloat it's... in like 10 minutes. Oh, oh yay. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh. There we go. Oh, that looks so fucking just the wood on wood, I think that's dope. <laughs> I, see what, yeah. I see what happened. We'll go with <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Oh, oh, wow, that's strong. <laughs> it's like ripping out. Because it's end grain. The, the grain's running this way. Yeah. So this is like really weak here. Uh, it's pretty sweet though. It's really sweet. Like it's, yeah, got, it's, it's got to be that strength so you don't get that the mm. shearing problem. I'm a magic DM. <laughs> that is impressive. You said you ran into this with the Mercer, Matt Mercer. The, the bottom being perfectly, if you have any misalignment anywhere, it like sits up and does this. We could put, found... uh, we could let little rubber feet. Yeah, mm. so like a, a, little, a little bit of grip. Uh, the look of that joint. That, I mean like it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same action as the Mercer DM screen, but it's hidden. Yeah. It just mm. looks better. Mm. Yeah. It's like a win all around. Matt was saying this too, like the lines, the shadow lines that it creates are yeah. really attractive. No gaps. Yeah. yeah. I think this faux paneling looks awesome. Really? You Cherry's like faux paneling, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's not contrasting, it's still like the dimensionality still separates everything. To me, it looks very attractive. A lot more... <laughs> <laughs> but there may be still some bugs. We've got two types of panels there. We've got the center panel, which is that bad, Larry, which will allow us to install display inserts. The idea is 
that is an area where we can do customizations. So that's the center panel, and then we have the side panels. I don't love the branding on the side Yeah, the panels. logo feels wrong. That is the logo we use for the... <laughs> Looks like the Master Vault. It's, 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 it's the Master Vault. And I just put it in the same location as the center panel. I actually don't mind it. It's a little bit... A little small. Yeah, I, I kind of think just like the side panels are blank. Really? Yeah, it's like the, the well, focus is on the center. A little baby one down the bottom. We well, could do that. Hmm? We could put a little, little tramp stamp on it. Yeah. Uh, those are hot. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> just to push back slightly on you, Jason, you could just get side panels. In fact, I think that's going to be pretty popular for people that are more budget constrained. Yeah, the entry mm. level. So yeah. then there's just no branding at all. We can definitely I'd probably put it on the inside. Like on Bobby's side of it. Yeah. You want to slide me one of those side panels? I just want to talk about it while they're a little... Oh, careful. We changed... This is subtle, but it should be mentioned. This was the old acrylic, yeah. which this is the size of a piece of normal American... Freedom paper. Freedom paper. <laughs> yeah. We made it longer to accept European paper. A4. A4. It's about time. <laughs> it's about time that we... we gotta make, yeah, gotta make those Europeans happy. What do they do in Canada? Do they use real paper Canadian? or A paper? <laughs> they did mock up a new... What do you call Some these? tiny... Finger girdles. Finger... Things are so small. So before we had it at the bottom and it was like, well, you're not going to be able to get up there. Mm -hmm. It's better there. They're too small though. They just took away this half of it. You know, it's you funny. know, just like opened this up a bit more. If you want to see that, I actually have that mocked up on the veneered version. So this is same exact strategy. It's just more fancier. Woo. Also, these magnets are smaller and slightly weaker. It's actually still pretty good. So I'd, I'd like you guys to feel that. So can you, can you pick it up? Ooh. The Jacob's ladder. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it's going to break. So no, <laughs> it is not dangerously strong, mm. which is honestly how I feel about that. Ed also made, you know, in, t in terms of like colors, this would be with a cherry base. <laughs> uh, and I like actually the cherry is a lot warmer. This is four layers of veneer. So if this is the panel and I want the top layer going this way, that means my top layer is this way. And that means the secondary layer has to go this way. I wanted to put a white stripe and so then I went to four layers and I think it was too much, right? So then you do another and another. It's like you, you, need, you need even. You need even on each so side. that it's balanced. Yeah. My criticism of this is this feels heavy. I think we could probably make it more elegant. But as a proof of concept, I think this would be popular if we got the color combinations correct. I'm not thrilled with these color combinations. This bad Larry, just to th continue this story, these are wooden plugs. So we got an aluminum plug versus a wooden dowel. This one's brass, the same and the other one's aluminum. If we're gonna do wood plugs, we, we have to match the plug with the, yeah, the no, core yeah. wood, so uh, like it would basically disappear. Oh, it, I it, hate it all would, of you. Oh, it would disappear. You're all terrible people. We do this on the MGT legs. We make we packer do. blocks we do do in every match. type of wood because it looks way better. Bunging holes always looks cheap. That's how to change this terminology. <laughs> that is what it's called. That's just what it's called. What it's called, right? A bung hole is the hole in, <laughs> in, a, cask. in a cask. In bunging the hole, it's the bung that goes in the bung hole. I didn't know that. I thought every time someone was like, I thought bung hole was just people saying butthole funny. Give me for my bung hole. JV, what should we do with these bung holes? <laughs> Comment below. Let us know what how, do you do how, how bung hole. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do with your bung hole? How do you like your bung hole? Holes. Just, just lay it all out there, folks. We should talk about the veneer, because I hate it. Ooh. I think it looks sloppy. Especially on this round. There's no way we're gonna keep That's that true. nice and crisp. It's That's never true. gonna happen. Yes. It should look great, and it just looks sloppy. I'd kind of like to see one that was the top layer of veneer. You know, maybe we had fewer layers, like you said, so it's yep. thinner. And then the top layer of veneer is maple again. Mm. Yes. So then you get yes. a classy maple panel. That, so that would, gives you the detail. That would be better. I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because if we trying. if we can make it look sweet, people are going to love it. So right now we're prototyping. We could say we're good on this prototype. Let's, I mean, yes, we have to like tweak here, tweak there, tweak here, but we're probably gonna be able to handle that in alpha and beta. We're gonna either keep prototyping this or we're gonna say, actually, we're gonna move forward because we are happy with this product. My word is we're getting close, but I kind of want to see a couple of revisions, but that's just- Revisions within the solid wood or revisions 
to the point where it's like actually within the solid wood. From what we sort of talked about at the beginning, like what we wanted to achieve, I think this gets us like 90% of the way. Mm. Like it isn't a frame and panel, obviously, but I was surprised how good the last set looked when I looked at it with the head. So I actually think the look is pretty strong. I don't think moving to a frame and panel is actually gonna affect the look all that much. So I actually am kind of on board to go forward with this. I, it's like, it's like a ghost. <laughs> you gotta fix that. So Rubber feet, just like, we should like drill holes and they should be inset. Mm. And they should just stick out like a little tiny 16th bit. of an inch, 32nd of an inch, just to give grip. Cause I think if there was grip here, it wouldn't do that. Can you flip this one around or like, I want to talk about the back here. I do like, yeah, this looks just cool to me visually, but I don't think it's the right size. Why don't we me. try it with the one inch ball in? This side isn't meant to be the visually pleasing side, no, honestly. It's meant to be the I, functional I want side. I to look good from every it's side. Good. That's, you, that's you, my opinion. You want them to look good from the back. <laughs> Good from that bunghole. Side. <laughs> you know what I'm so what are we doing with this? I mean, obviously we can have a gasket solution. I want to put like a little chamfer, like a little micro chamfer yeah. on yeah. that. Is that good? Aside from literally making another plug, that, mm. yeah, it's just like yeah. What do you do? Mostly going to be covered most of the time yeah. with when you're player playing. material, DM material, whatever. Oh, um, I want it to look good from the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have center panels. We're gonna have side panels and we're gonna have the acrylics that can click on, and we're gonna have the display, like removable display tiles and the gasketing in there. And that is the core product. That is our offering to begin. Sounds good. Okay, let's see how much the internet hates this. <laughs> <laughs> We had a little discussion. Mm -hmm. We had a uh, little powwow. We decided as a group together. Yes. We all agree with this. This was not Doug randomly come out, coming up with this idea. We <laughs> all talked about this. That, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, giving it away. We're gonna yeah. give that one away. That's mint. Dangerous. That's dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> no warranty. And if you break your finger, not a problem. There, there it is. Go. Just saying. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.